Hey guys, it's Madeline. Um, as you can see by the title down below, today I'm going to be filming a everyday school makeup routine. Um, this is what I wear when I'm feeling fancy, because I feel fancy sometimes, and this is what happens. A lot of the time I don't wear full face makeup, but when I do, this is what I wear on my face. So, without further ado, actually, a little bit of a do. I don't think you guys have seen this yet, but this is my bedroom, my new bedroom. It's actually the same room, just a completely different. We completely redid my room and got new everything, basically, and I am really happy about it. So I think this is going to be the background for most of my videos. Uh, I'll switch it up a, a little bit, I think. I'm still kind of getting things where I want them. But if you guys want to see a room tour video, um, I think that'd be fun to do. I, I really like the way this turned out. So, let me know if you guys would like to see that. And, yeah, without further ado, let's get on in to the video. Okay, so here we are, ready for the makeup. So to start, I'm just taking the primer. This is just a hard candy primer. And I wear a primer, like, every single day um, that, I'm wearing make that I'm wearing makeup, no matter how much makeup I'm wearing. And for school, sometimes I'll wear, like, full face makeup, which is basically what I'm showing you guys today. But a lot of the time, I'll just wear a little bit of concealer and mascara, and that's good for me, too. Um, it just depends on how much time I have, how lazy I'm feeling, and how fancy I'm feeling. Once I have primed my skin, I go in with concealer. I don't wear foundation if I can avoid it, and so I'm not going to. Um, I just wear concealer, as I said. So, to start off with my concealer, I'm taking the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, and this is supposed to be 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter. So I, um, for my eyes, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I kind of like to even, oops, I kind of like to even out the skin underneath it, just with the rest of my face first, and then I like to, um, apply a lighter one after I've kind of evened out the color there. So I just put that under my eyes, and on any blemishes, red spots that I want to cover up. So, as you may have noticed, I have, like, uneven skin in a lot, like, my cheeks and stuff. Um, and I'll cover that up some days, but I tend to just, like, to not have tons of face makeup on. So, I kind of leave it. Kind of spread out the concealer over it a little bit, too. But for the most part, I just kind of leave it. Okay, and then I just take a damp beauty blender and blend all of that concealer out. Okay, so now that it's kind of blended out, I'll open my face. I'm going in with the light concealer for under my eyes. For this, I'm using my MAC Pro Longer Concealer. I'm in the shade MW15. And I just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Like, just, like, really, just, like, a tiny bit. I really do not need a lot. That's about it. And then just taking my finger, I just dab that in kind of a V shape under my eye to highlight. And then I bring it out a little bit out here. Okay, and then with whatever is left, I'll just kind of put that down my nose, right down the bridge of it. And just right here. And then again, taking the damp beauty blender, I blend all of that out. Now that I have done that, I set it with a powder, just so it will kind of last out the day. So just taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder and a big fluffy face brush, I just kind of set my face. From there, I move on to bronzer. And I have been really into wearing bronzer lately. Um, I, I've always just kind of worn it once in a while whenever I really felt like it. Lately, I've really just been bronzing a lot, not as much contouring, but a lot of the bronzing has been happening. So, for this, I'm using my Avon Smooth Minerals um, bronzer, I guess. And I just kind of scroll this onto a brush and just kind of bronze up my face. I start kind of where I would contour, 
and then just kind of do it messily because when I'm bronzing it's just pretty messy but it looks natural after I blended it. Onto my temples, forehead, and then just down here a little bit. And I also bronze my nose a tiny bit. Like that. And then from there, I like to blend. Okay, you guys are just zoomed in too much. I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit. Okay, from there, I take a kabuki brush. And this is what I always use to blend out my bronzer. And I just blend out my bronzer. For blush, I'm using my Maybelline Master Glaze Cream Blush. And this is in the shade just pinched pink and so I just put a dot of this onto the apples of my cheek um, I just take my fingers and kind of blend it out towards my hairline and that's basically just how I do my blush um, after I do my blush I sometimes add a little bit of highlight but today, I, today I'm going to because I'm kind of doing whatever I would do when I was wearing a full face of makeup so I just take my MAC uh, Floof eyeshadow and I use this as a highlight. I really love it. And I just take this on a big blending eyeshadow brush and just like really, really lightly just dust it right here above where I put my blush. And on my cupid's bow. And then down the bridge of my nose. Okay, moving on to eyes. So to start off with eyeshadow, um, I usually go for a pretty natural I look and so I want to start with my Maybelline color tattoo and back to the bronze so I really just work this onto my finger and then I just put that on my eyelid kind of messily but that does not really matter because I will be fixing it in a minute and then I blend that out just with a smaller eyeshadow brush and I just kind of blend that mostly in my crease so that it's a really soft line okay from there for the eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit of a uh, darker color in my crease just to add some more definition. So taking my crown double ended eyeshadow brush and just a really dark eyeshadow from Revlon, um, I'm using the smaller pointier side and just putting that into my crease, like I said, for definition. But I'm kind of focusing on the outer part of my crease and I mean see how messy this is? That's what blending is. I take the bigger end of the brush and bring it just kind of a little bit further into the crease. Just a little bit. And then I use the blending eyeshadow brush which is amazing. And just blend. Then I go on to my lashes. So um, I've been, I haven't really been using eyeliner for, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I haven't really been lining my eyes with eyeliner. I've just kind of been tight lining and sometimes putting some on my waterline. Um, just kind of give the appearance of a little bit fuller lashes. But, it's just been, I don't know. It's just faster and simpler when I'm not messing around with liquid eyeliner. And, yeah, it just gives the right look that I want. So to start off, I curl my lashes. And then I go in with my NYX eyeliner. This is the retractable eyeliner. And this is just a black one. And I just put this right as close to my lash line as possible on my tight line. After I have after I've tight lined, I go in with my mascara. For this I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which I am obsessed with. Holy crap. Um, and I just completely cover my lashes in this. It is such an amazing mascara. Try it out if you haven't. It's a necessity for me. Okay, so moving on to the next mascara. I have to, so, oh, this is weird. I always have to wear a waterproof mascara, but I can never wear it alone. So I always put on usually this mascara, and then I put on a waterproof mascara over that. Right now I'm using the waterproof rocket mascara by I want to say this is Maybelline. Maybelline Rocket, I think it is. And then um, I just put that right over the top. Very, very lightly because I like the effect that the Tarte one has. So I want to keep that effect. So I just put this 
on my upper lashes to keep the curl. Okay, so that's it for my eyes, and then I move on to eye. Ugh. And then moving on to eyebrows, I usually just go through them with a spoolie, but I'll show you what I do when I fill them in just a little bit. So I take my this is an eyeliner brush actually, um, just from Elf, and I just kind of mix two brown shadows together and just fill them in very very lightly with a light hand just kind of in the sparse areas um that's, that's all I really do I like to keep my brows looking pretty natural so like I said I don't really do a lot with them but then I just take a spoolie and just kind of brush that through to shape them a little bit so when I actually fill them in I always set out using the Great Lash or Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara and I just kind of put this lightly through my brows and again I can kind of shape them as I do this um, and this way they're just kind of glued down for the day that is my brows and then I highlight them with the same MAC Floof eyeshadow and just kind of a flat shader brush right under there on the arch right under the arch I guess and really okay I basically just kind of mess around with my brows until I have them where I want and right now the arch is not where I want it so I'm just gonna go back in with my spoolie one more time there we go there we go starting to cooperate there okay so we are about done and this is what I will usually do but sometimes I do wear lip product and when I do I keep it really really simple um, with just like a light pink or a nude but today I am going to be doing even more than I usually do even though it's not a lot so I'm just going to go in with like a brown lip liner I got some from Sally Hansen um, and I just basically line my entire lip so then I just take my finger and I kind of just smudge just a little bit and then for my actual lip color I'm using the e.l.f. matte lip color in natural and it is very natural it's basically my lip color just better so that's about it for my lips very natural okay hey so this is the finished makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed um, like I said, this is basically what I'll do on a school day when I wear full face makeup. And yeah, that is about it for the video. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love y'all. Bye. Today I'm going to be filming a... What am I filming? Um, just so...